when we feel overwhelmed, the entire goal and our entire career and our entire challenge drops on your head at once. So one of the things that your brain does when it's overwhelmed is it brings everything about your goal right in front of you. So it's like, I'm worried about this part of my goal. And because I have this fear and because I start feeling overwhelmed, instead of your brain kind of helping you and saying, calm down, we just have to do this. And we, let's just focus on like one step at a time. Your brain dumps the entire thing on top of you. So when you start feeling stress about your studying, instead of going, oh, okay, I'm actually stressed about this topic. I'm never going to qualify. This is ridiculous. I don't know how I'm going to do all this. And so the whole thing dumps on you at once. So understand that when you're feeling overwhelmed, it can and it does become a spiral. Not because you can't do this stuff. Not because... Um, you genuinely don't have time, not because it can't be done, but because your brain operates in a way that creates additional stress for you. The overwhelm is like, it's like an avalanche that builds. And the only way to stop that avalanche is to focus on one step at a time. The only way, you know, to focus, like what can I do to get today to just get a little closer? to my goal. What am I in control of today? Part of the thing that we struggle with is a loss of control. One of the reasons that we we struggle and we feel stressed about our studying and we feel overwhelmed is because of the sense of control. And the problem obviously is that we've lost control. I don't have control over my time. I don't have control over my topics. I don't have control over how much time I can spend on my topics. So I'm kind of rushing through everything and I'm not able to sit and focus on one thing to the extent that I want to and need to and feel comfortable with. So I'm always rushing. I'm always behind. I'm always failing questions. I never know. What, and we don't like that feeling of the lack of control. And again, that causes the overwhelm. I'm not in control. I can't get in control. I can't get where I need to be. I'm not comfortable. I'm not ready. And this is never going to work. This is all too much. And so it all, it's, it all kind of, you know, it creates more and more drama. Unfortunately, when you're overwhelmed, you're more likely to do less. Overwhelmed does not motivate us to do more. We're more likely to become paralyzed. The only way to actually get moving and the only way to actually get anything done is to focus on what, what do I have control of today? What part of this and what step can I take today to get this done? I am not writing tomorrow. I am not writing ITC the day after tomorrow. What can I do today to help me prep for that? And slowly but surely, we start building step by step by step by step. And before you know it, you're a little bit further. So be very aware that your emotions and your brain not necessarily on the same page as you logically. And every time I get, I get so many messages from students, oh, I'm feeling so overwhelmed, I don't know where to begin. And so yeah, we kind of just do nothing. Be very careful about that.